let's say for example, God forbid you got married, for example. And God I, forbid you got married. No, no, no. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> <laughs> let me rewind that. Hey, we're back again. Obviously, it's your boy, Mr. CV. I'm back again with another special topic. Quite a topic that I've been thinking about. And I was watching something. Is an American basketballer, actually. What happened was, obviously, because him being a basketballer, he's already got a lot of, in terms of money, wealth, fame. Before he got married to this woman, he said to the woman that she had to sign a prenup. And the woman said, yeah, 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 that's fine. No problem. I'll, I'll, I'll sign a prenup. No problem. But then on the day of the wedding, after the pastor did his own little speech, the guy's like, yo, sign a prenup. And then the woman was like, nah, nah, nah. And then the guy just said, you know what? The wedding is over. So I really wanted to discuss that part because as we're growing older, obviously we're all growing and gaining asset in terms of house, cars and everything. And for me, the worst part for me is after gaining all this asset, you've not signed a prenup and you just lose everything. Because I know a lot of people, they're scared to sign prenups because they feel like there's a lack of trust. First of all, what's your man's take on prenup? What's, what's kind of crazy is, even to hear the word prenup, as you said, this guy's a basketball player, he's mm. probably a millionaire, but I only tend to hear these words thrown around. Discussing money and stuff. Discussing people with mega, well, you're talking multi-millionaires. I don't think that means that it, it it's only relevant to them. So when you think about it, okay, if Jeff Bezos, who is, you know, the, the CEO, yeah. I, I, I don't know if he stepped down recently, and he's, you know, divorce court, half of the worth of Amazon has gone to his wife and half is his. We tend to hear it spoken about with millionaires and billionaires, but the, the facts are, if you take half of a billionaire's wealth, he's still good for life. Mm. But if you take half of an average man's wealth, <laughs> He's, he may be in massive trouble. It's not even it. He's finished. He's he, 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 this guy, he's, he's finished. Just, <laughs> gee, so gee, yeah. listen, he's finished. And to avoid being finished, that's why I said myself. Let me quickly discuss this topic, so that at least I will know where. I am. What's happening is obviously where we're from as Africans. We try not to think about negative parts too much. We always try and look at the positive parts of life, and it's fine. But we need to be realistic that things happen. And when these things happen, most of the time we're not prepared for it because we, we always believe that it, w it won't happen to us, but things happen. I think with the prenup, you know, you need to consider what she's coming into the situation um, expecting almost. For example, is she coming into the situation saying, look, you know what, you go work, I'll raise the kids and do that, da, da, da. Mm. and if, Ooh, if things go bad, then mm. you have to, you know, give her something. It would make sense. You, because, you actually want because it. she's put her, you know, professional life on hold, mm. so she can raise your kids and build your home. So in that case, she's owed something. Okay, but in that but in the case where you're both two working professionals and she's not put her work aside, and the, I think like you know, you leave with what you brought to the table. So it depends on what your wife decides she wants to do with her life post-marriage. I'd say because divorce has become so prevalent, especially in our part of the world, especially in our little section of, you know, diasporic Africans, it's, it seems to be so high. Marriage is a very high risk proposition for a man today, you know, especially for the average man. The vast majority of guys are not millionaires. If you lose half of your stuff, you're, you're in big trouble. When you look at depression in middle-aged men and things like this, it's a lot of it is to do with relationship, marriage breakdown, kids being taken away. These kind of things affect a man's life. Not to say that, you know, uh, it's all women's fault or something like that. Not at all. When separations happen, it can hit men very, very hard and it's not really spoken about too much. In a nutshell, I wouldn't say to a man, get a prenup. Because you're almost telling him, right, in case you get divorced, say that in front of his wife. No, see but what that's, she feels. that's what I'm saying. Because, like I said as well, we don't like to think that way. Yeah. And that's why a lot of people don't. I know guys have spent 40k on, on wedding. Hey. Let me even say one thing. This was a guy, uh, a guy that we went uni with. He, he had a wedding, and obviously, the guy only just came to the country like one year ago. Within a year, he's getting married. Yeah. And then what's gonna happen was this year, I didn't know that this guy, all the suits, watches, 
he's bought them, but he's kept the receipt. So that after the wedding, he will go out and return it. Mm -hmm. So he now gave me one, like a suit to wear. And I'm thinking, ah, this suit looks nice on me. So the mistake I've done is, the first thing I've done, you know what I've done? I've ripped the label. <laughs> <laughs> Not knowing that, because I wasn't aware that this guy is looking to keep the label to go and return it to. So as soon as he's giving me the jacket, I've just got excited, like, oh yeah, dude, rip the... I see my man getting vexed. And I'm thinking, yo, it's your wedding day. Why is that guy getting vexed for? What are you getting vexed for? Not knowing that my man's plan is after this all this wedding finishes, it's gonna take oh, it back. It's gonna take it back. Man's got Rolex. Ah. Oh, I'm thinking, whoa, because I'm, even in my mind, I'm thinking, how, how on earth is this guy able to afford this? Mm, mm, mm. You understand what I'm saying? But at least if you just called me in the corner and said, listen, this is the plan in it, at least I'll be more careful. <laughs> you know what I mean? Listen.